What's going on guys, it's Josh with Project Torture. Today we're learning about something new. We're gonna learn about particle systems in the Unreal Engine 4, how to create them. And today we're gonna make some snow. You can make fireballs and fireworks and waterfalls and fireballs. But I mean, today we're gonna make snow, so whatever. All right, so let's get started. Before we do, just remember we've worked with materials before in the Unreal Engine 4, and we've worked with blueprints, and now, like I said, we're gonna work with particle systems. But before we can create one, we need a material. So right click, create a material, Type in snow underscore M and we'll jump right into it. And we only want to affect these two parameters here. So let's make it translucent and let's make it unlit where it says default lit here. And let's type in radial and you'll get a radial gradient exponential here. And basically we're just going to take this little dot we got here by plugging this into both the emissive and the opacity tr or parameters. Change this to a plane so you can see what you're doing here. Yes, yes, yes. We got a dot. We can make snow out of that. Come on, don't, don't, don't lie. We can do this. This is not going to be a problem. Let's just save it and go ahead and exit out of that. And that's pretty much it for our material. That's all we're going to need to do. Uh, sometimes we need to right click and type in particle color if you decide that you want to change the color of this. But we don't need to right now when you multiply everything with this. But we don't need to, so don't worry about it. It's going to be white because I think that's what color snow is. So um, particle system, right click, particle system. We're going to name it snow. And bam, there we go. Let's jump in. And you're like, oh no, oh God, what's happening? Just chill, just check it out. We're gonna do real simple things here. So basically this is our, this is what we have here. And, and we can assign a material to it. So we're gonna do that first. We got our little nodes here. We can affect different things. If you just go to this one right here, we need to, we need to uh, pretty much put in the uh, material that we created, snow underscore M. Oh, wait for it, wait for it to, uh, wait for it to do its thing there. There it is, okay. So now you see it's doing, taking our little dot and making all kind of dots. So we got dots for days. We're just gonna do stuff with them. So let's just save it just for fun. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna spawn it, spawn on a bunch of them. Before we do anything, right click in this blank box, type data and do GPU, new GPU sprites because we're gonna use a bunch of these balls uh, dots, white stuff, whatever. Here we go. Let's keep going. Let's go to the lifetime. First things first, the lifetime is how long it lasts. I mean, you know, one second's not going to do it. We're going to type in between 10 seconds and 14 seconds. So now they're going to last a little while. You're seeing them last a little, you know, they're, they're, they're going the wrong direction. So, you know, that's, that's, that's a serious issue. Now, I'm not going to lie. Initial size is fine. I don't mind the size. We'll go to initial velocity though. And that's the way it's moving. And it's kind of doing its own thing here, but it's going up on the Z and we need it to go down. So check this out. Type in 50, 50, and then negative 250. And then type in negative 50, negative 50, and negative 400. So now we've got them kind of blasting downward, right? We're kind of getting an idea. They're kind of going in different ways, X and Y, as you can tell. So it's kind of making a little uh, funnel looking thingy there, right? Color of a life's fine. We don't need to do anything with that. Now, I will say one thing. We need a bunch of snow. So go to the spawn tab and you, you, you drop this down here, rate, right, and it says 20. 20 is just not going to do it. I'm thinking like 5,000. That's a four. But uh, yeah, 5,000. I'm going to do 5,000. Got a funnel of funnel kind of dots. It's, it's embarrassing almost at some point. But hey, hey, we don't mind. Now, you're probably seeing that happen there. It's kind of like if you look away from it. We'll fix that in a second. I'll show you how. We only have one more thing to do. Right click over here and we'll bring another node in. We're going to name it location. It's right here, initial location. So let's go into this initial location node and let's change where it's going to spawn from. It's spawning at zero. We're going to really go change it. All right, ready? 10,000. And then another 10,000. And then we're going to do 50. And then we need negative 10,000. And then another negative 10,000. And then negative 50. Oh, you, you, you know what's happening. You see what's going on. We got a big vector field full of snow there, basically taking up this entire location. Now, once again, we're getting this problem simple over here beside the bounds down the arrow, set fixed bounds, and then restart your level in your sim just to make sure. And then you should no longer be getting that problem. And bam, we're done. Now you can literally just go here, take your snow material. Oh, oh definitely not. Take your snow particle system. You'll see it there in parentheses. And we're dragging in right here like that. And we're, we just need to set it where we want to put it. Um, just wherever, just put it right about there. And then basically, if you click off of it, because you can see it, and we fly through here, full screen with F11 and fly through here. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't mind, it ain't doing too bad. Get, it gets closer to the ground here. And Now you can, you can set it however you want. You can make it fall faster. You can make it do a lot of different things, but this is just a beginning tutorial for particle systems. As you can tell, we made this in like five, six minutes. It's very simple. And we got snow, it's falling, it's pretty, it's Christmas, where's Santa? So, I mean, you know, I hope you guys learned something. I'm, I'm still kind of learning about this kind of stuff, but I'm having fun with it. So anyway, thanks again, guys. This is a particles tutorial number one. I hope you, I hope you kind of got an idea now of how Cascade works. That's the name of the particle system editor in the Unreal Engine 4 Cascade. So guys, have fun with this. Please.
play around with and make some fireballs like we were talking we talked about that a couple times all kind of fireballs snowballs whatever just see you guys soon thanks bye